All right, in the comment section of my Acer Predator 15 unboxing and overview video, I had a request to run Firestrike on the machine and show the results. So that's what I'm going to do here. This is the Acer Predator 15 with the GTX 1070 and the Intel i7-6700HQ. So let's get to the results here. As you can see here, this is regular Fire Strike. We got a score of 12,591, a graphics score of 16,293, physics is 9,601, combined was 5,629. It's better than 78% of all results, which is pretty good considering that this is a laptop. And if you go down here, you can see we hit a max boost clock on the GPU of 1,797 MHz. And the memory clock shows 2,003 MHz, which if you multiply by 4, gives us just about 8 GHz. Just over 8 GHz. So, moving on, we have regular fire strike overclocked. And we come in with 13,189 for our total score. Graphic score is 17,518. Physics score is 9,518. And the combined comes in at 5,099. I'm sorry, 5,799. Um, this is better than 81% of all results, which is really great considering that this is a laptop. And if we come down here, you can see we hit a max boost clock of 1,886 MHz. And the memory is pumped up to 2,276, which when you multiply it by 4 gives us just over 9 GHz. Moving on, I ran Firestrike Ultra, as I do like to plug this into my 4K monitor from time to time, so it's nice to know what it can pump out, although I'm sure there would be some degradation. However, at the stock settings, we got a score of 3,821. Graphics score is 3,839. Physics score of 9,672, with a combined of 1,968. This is better than 34% of all results, but that's... Uh, I guess to be expected from a laptop and we can see that the max boost clock on the GPU hit 1734 megahertz while the memory was still once again clocked at 8 gigahertz. Once again we do multiply this by 4. Moving on to Firestrike Ultra overclocked we see a Total score of 4,213, a graphic score of 4,234, a physics score of 9,521, combined score of 2,250, which is a pretty big jump from uh, the stock settings, and this is better than 47% of all results, so that's a pretty hefty jump there. If you come down here, we can see that our max boost clock hit 1,810 MHz, and the memory was clocked at, once again, just over 8 gigahertz when you multiply that by 4. Moving on, I did run Time Spy as well, since that is a 3D Mark benchmark, and some people do like to see what DX12 is capable, or what a machine is capable of in DX12. Um, so here we go. This is stock settings. We got a score, a total score of 5,032. Graphic score 5,324, and CPU score, which is our physics, of 3,842. It's better than 49% of all results, which is better than I had expected. And if we come down here, we can see that we had a max boost clock of 1,785 MHz, and the memory is clocked at about 8 GHz. And for the final, we have Time Spy with the overclocked settings and we are hitting a total score of 5,456, a graphic score of 5,861, and a CPU score of 3,923. This is better than 61% of all results, which I think is an amazing increase. 
And if we come down here, we can see we had a max boost clock on the GPU of 1,860 megahertz. And if we multiply this by four, we were at just over nine gigahertz on the memory. So those are your scores. I hope they are helpful and uh, give you some information if you are considering purchasing an Acer Predator 15. Especially right now, there are some sales on them. Uh, uh, since they just released the Acer Predator 21X, which is the most gigantic laptop I think has ever been created and is running two GTX 1080s in SLI. So go check that out at Acer's website if you want. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. There will be more content coming.